you know, this group has really gelled together pretty well in terms of getting along. For a bunch of guys that didn't necessarily know each other, uh, this time last year, uh, they sure seem to enjoy each other's company each and every day. It makes it fun to be around, but uh, certainly a, an excitement that usually comes with the start of a, a season, but I, I know a lot of our guys really want to just get back on the court and uh, maybe get a bad taste out of their mouth a little bit and get after it. you got a year under your belt as the head coach. It's not so new anymore here. You know, is that continuity kind of, you know, helping you get ready for this year? I think anytime a player hears a consistent message for a good deal of time, it's going to it's gonna help. And uh, certainly there has been turnover in the head coaching position here, and that can lead to some lost in translation, if you will. Uh, I think a consistent message is, is always a good thing. And uh, certainly the older guys are, are getting that, and the young guys will have one message the whole way through. So that's a good thing. I know you've always stressed that the relationship between you and your point guards is vital to the success of the program. Can you talk a little bit about your relationship with Jerron and even Jordan to this point and how that's can help you guys moving forward? And, and James Gallon to some point uh, certainly is a capable point guard. But Jerron and I think a lot alike in terms of the game of basketball. And uh, he's a pass first guy that uh, has huge potential in front of him. I think he's. Uh, I think he's going to be someone that our fans really draw to. Uh, Jordan, you know, Jordan hasn't had a bad day in his life, I don't think, ever. Uh, he comes to you very, very upbeat and from a good place and very receptive every day. Uh, but he's still got an edge to him. He's still a competitor. Uh, and James, you know, James is always going a thousand miles an hour and he's, Again, I would say excited about the possibilities here. Don't even begin to describe what goes through James' mind in, a, in the course of a day. He's, uh, all three of them listen well. All three of them are going to do wonderful things for a program at some point in time. Tony Campbell is a guy who you kind of get the feel he's been kind of knocking on the door being an all Mac kind of guy the last couple of years. What have you seen, I guess, in terms of his progression? And are we going to see him kind of become that kind of player? In this he's, uh, he's had a pretty good summer in terms of taking it to the next step. The kid is just so immensely talented. I mean, this is a kid that can throw a football 70 yards. It's a kid that, he's one of those guys that anything he picks up, he does well. I'm sure someday he'll probably be on the senior PGA Tour when it's all said. I, the, the guy is, immensely talented and to get that focused in on a couple specific skills basketball wise uh, is our challenge here over the next couple months I do think he could be one of the better players in our league I do think he's a kid that has potential to play beyond college how excited are you to coach uh, Kenny Kaminsky and how excited is he to finally be able to get back out on the court and show what he can do he's uh immensely talented offensive player, not just shooting the ball either. He really passes it and has a good feel. Uh, yeah, you, you have a guy sitting around for a year, him and Jerron, you have them sitting there for a year and uh, catch yourself at times thinking, boy, it's gonna be nice when they're both out there We're on the verge of that. And yeah, I'm very excited. I, he's got range forever. I mean, he can really shoot the ball. Uh, trying to get him to score in some different ways, you know, coming from the Big Ten to the Mac, he might be able to score in some different ways where maybe that wasn't available to him because of the people that he's going against. Uh, we'll see. We'll try to expand his game as big as it can. Uh, catch and shoot will always be his primary strength, but what can you grow around that? How good can you get him defensively? That's a part of the, the game that maybe doesn't come as natural to Kenny. Uh, so you work on it. Doug Taylor, a uh, big physical guy, does he kind of bring kind of a, you know, just a, a different mentality to your lineup when he's out there on the floor, just the way he plays? You're going to know that Doug's out there when he's out there. He doesn't sneak quietly in through the back door. He kind of just comes in barging in like a Kool-Aid man, I guess would be the best way to say it. Uh, yeah, he's, he definitely gives us a physical edge and, uh, 
you know, it's funny, he's got that goofy grin on his face half the time. So he, he's, he's a guy that when, when things are rough down in the paint, you want on your side. No question about that. Greg Setti, he's your lone senior this year. What would it mean to you to see him go out a winner, just everything that he's kind of been through with coaching changes and transferring? You know, it's funny, he had a chance to graduate, just be done. Uh, instead, he decided to come back, and he got up, he got up more shots than anybody else on our team this summer. He was always in the gym. Uh, he got, he just really, really threw himself into it and worked very hard. So that guy is, uh, his motives are right. His motives are correct. He wants to have one good, ex you know, real good experience to cap this thing off. And finally, what's kind of the, I guess the overall goal in this next month leading up to that first exhibition game, what, what are you guys really trying to accomplish and improve upon? I think uh, there are a jillion areas, but I think anytime you have a young team, you better hit the defense pretty hard early. Um, ball security as well with younger guys, uh, passing and catching. It's a big adjustment going from playing high school basketball to being out on the court against a bunch of grown men. Uh, those are two areas that I always value quite a bit, but probably even a little more so this year. Uh, with as much time as we have with the guys, 30 days before, you're always working on the individual improvement things. You're always working on uh, fortifying strengths, eliminating weaknesses. It's really that simple. And uh, for each kid, it's a little different. For each player, that the road to being a complete player is a little bit different. Uh, try to tailor make their path for each kid and work as a group on things that we need to be better on as a group. Uh, so it makes my job fun. I like it a lot.